Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 13th of November 2025, I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you can. If you're in Australia, boo if you are a liberal and are in favour of dumping net zero, because that's what they've done, the Liberal Party uh, have decided they're going to ditch net zero. Um, hopefully that will mean that they don't get re-elected, ever. And uh, somebody who's happy about it is Barnaby Joyce, right-wing nutjob uh, of the formerly of the uh, National Party, formerly a deputy uh, prime minister actually, who is very anti-gay marriage, anti-abortion, uh, um, and uh, he said, "I think it's great. They are to be congratulated. This is a great day for Australia. This is the fact that the Liberal Party have dumped net zero." Let's hope he never gets back in uh, any form of leadership as well. Bad news. <laughs> Are we only expecting something good <laughs> in 2025? <laughs> We've got to search really hard to find something good this year. <coughs> Especially about the um, uh, environment. Uh, we've got eights blocking up like this. We've got an eight going across here. That's an eight there. The rain is messing up my day today. Not only did it wake me up with a horrible storm last night... Uh, I was all set to go outside to go for a walk to the post office because I can't go swimming and uh, it's just I just got <laughs> a few steps outside and it started to rain I was just about to jump over the the puddles that are left from last night's storm and had to go back inside and eat some food from the freezer <clears throat> messing up my day the rain is never mind it's all temporary Seven's block across here, and there will be some good weather another day, right? Nothing hits me. Three's going to be our boogeyman here. That's the only one on the board. <clears throat> Trying to make life difficult for us. Okay, so we've got six and seven across there. That's a pair of six and seven. These then are three, <coughs> five and eight. So then five blocking across here and across here will give me a five there. <coughs> three in one of those squares means that can't be three. That must be the three. And this must be our nine.
So, <coughs> uh, we've got... Th oh, no. Forget that. Three across here. Three is in one of those squares blocking across and three up here. Okay. <laughs> Work it out again. <coughs> So obviously we know we've got six, seven in that square. That's got to be a six or seven as well. Seven blocking up and across here, so seven in one of those two squares blocking back down, seven down there, there's a seven. <coughs> Eight blocking like this. Eight blocking this square, this square, and this square in this column. There's our eight. And we'll have three and five in those squares there. Can we do anything about them? I don't know. I don't think so. What's missing down here? Uh, one, three, five. So we've got the one there. That's ones there. Three, five, not yet. Not sure yet. nine blocks in two directions that means nine is in one of those two squares there blocking back that way nine down here also means that that's a nine uh, why is it because we've got nines blocking across here across here and across here so that means that nines are only in these squares in these two blocks and that puts nine somewhere there and we've got nine blocking this square and nine blocking this square so we can't go there it's got to be there one blocking those two squares there we've got to put a one in that column it must go there six blocks this square we don't have a six in this column yet let's put it there and let's have an eight to finish the column one blocking this square here okay so one has to be in one of these two squares only uh, and we can see uh, one blocking down here so this can't be a one here so we can't have one here or there either and if you want to see it like that look one's blocking like this so blocking there so that has to be our one three blocking like this there you go have a three thank you very much one 
one blocking to the bottom here so one is in one of these two squares blocking across there one down here there's one nine blocking across here there's a nine we can finish this grid with this block I should say or box whichever you prefer with a six <coughs> six and seven block up here six and seven block across there so those two squares are six and seven and we know already we've got six and seven there uh, and so we can work out this because it's not six or seven and the other number is a one. Oh, sorry <laughs> we've got one here already so it's not one there you go proof that I'm always playing the game live nine it should be sorry always playing this game live And this was six and seven, so this has to be two and four. Any joy with two or four, two, there, there, four, there, there, no. No completed digits as yet. It's one of those awkward finishes, I think. I quite know what to do here. Oh, I've just spotted it. There we go. Three blocking this square. We need a three in this column. That's it then. Uh, this will have to be a five. When I said that's it, I mean that was that, but not it as in the final solution. I think uh, I haven't quite got there yet.
Oh, damn. Five hits this square here. We need a five in this row. That's a five. This will be a two. Three blocks up there. There's a three. This will be four. Four blocking up here gives four in this square. The missing number here. This was, I forgot what this was now. Six, wasn't this, these two squares, six and seven? Yes, yeah, six and seven across there. So this is two. <coughs> Okay, I got you a three like this. There we go. Still no completed digits though. Still desperately flailing around here. Four blocking across here, four down there. There's a four. one and nine block down there that puts one and nine into those squares and gives me a five there five blocking down here down there there's a five uh one blocking all the way down there gives me a one in that square and the last number to place here is nine i think no yes and this is a one one across here, one down. Okay, I think we've got the game now. We've done enough. Two there. Two blocking down across, across there. And we've found ourselves two completed digits, which are one and two. So I think we just go around in order now, see if we can spot any easy ones. Four down and across. There's a four. Four across there and there. That's got rid of digit four. Six blocking across there for a six there, seven there, seven. What's missing here? Is it eight? I think it is. Eight blocking up there. There's an eight. This is uh, nine. And that's the last digit, nine. Okay. Here. Six. Six blocking up and across there. There's a six. Now I know we had six, seven in those squares, so I'll do it while I remember. There we go. Right, seven blocking down there. There's our seven and the missing number here. Three, three blocking up. There's a three. Last number to go in a five. Not too tough today. Uh, that's the uh, Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. I think it stopped raining outside, although I'm bloated with food. I've eaten too much <laughs> food now. don't feel like walking anywhere, but I should. Can't go swimming for this couple of days. I'm injured, uh, but I should at least go walking. Take care. Bye-bye.